going on guys? Welcome back to Cruise Sin City. Today I'm super excited because I got a new Simpson helmet. If you've read the title and you saw the description and everything, then you already know what's in this box. But I am super excited to get it open and check it out with you guys. First things first, let's get it out. In the box, they do include a helmet bag that is branded Simpson. It's pretty cool. It's got the Simpson logo on one side, and then it's got this crazy Simpson design helmet on there. But this one I'm super excited about. It is the top of the line Simpson that they have. The second to most expensive one, the only one that's more expensive is the Mod Bandit. Um, just holding it in this bag like this, super light. Makes you wonder if there's even a helmet in there. Let's go ahead and get it open. All right, guys, it is the Simpson Carbon Fiber Ghost Bandit. I picked this one up at Cycle Gear here in Las Vegas. The sticker and MSRP, what I paid, was $669.95. It was a little more than $700 out the door after tax, so I guess that would depend on um, what state you live in and what kind of sales tax you guys have. So about a $700 helmet. The base model Ghost Bandit, I believe, is $450. So it's a, a step above, you're, you're paying about $250 more for the carbon fiber version. To be honest, the number one reason that I like this is the weight. It weighs a lot less than the regular one. I, this one comes in at less than three pounds. And number two, um, I like having the best of the best. <laughs> and uh, um, I wanted a Simpson helmet and their carbon fiber ghost bandit is the best of the best. A lot of people, when I first told them about this helmet, asked why I didn't get the modular version. And there's a really big reason for that. I plan on going out to the track and you can't have a modular helmet on the track. Um, this helmet is DOT and ECE certified. It's got all the stickers on there. I want to kind of bring you guys in and check out this helmet. Uh, it does have the Simpson logo up here on the brow. That is just a sticker. So I guess you could peel it off. I'm going to leave it on for now. And then it does have a sticker as well on either side of the visor. And of course on the back, it's got the DOT and ECE certifications. The flip up, Visor, just like a normal helmet, obviously the visor comes up. The latch is on the left side. It's a pretty large latch, pretty sturdy, so I like the fact um, with a gloved hand you can get in there and raise it up. Of course, the visor locks as well. And one thing that this helmet has that not every helmet has, because it's more of a touring um, helmet, it has the drop-down sun visor inside. And that's a big deal for me because out here in Las Vegas, out here in the desert, during the day the sun is super bright. So you almost always have to have sunglasses on. So when you're riding, I normally have a tinted visor on all my helmets. But you stay out too late and the sun goes down and it gets super dark out. Now you've got a tinted visor. You can ride around with a tinted visor. You can carry a clear shield around with you in your saddlebag, which I've definitely done in the past, but I don't always remember it. So then you have to stop, take it off, flip it around, you know, all that fun stuff to get the tinted visor on there. Or <laughs> you ride around with the visor open and you get bugs in your eyes. That's not that fun. But with this one, I can keep the clear shield on there for nighttime, daytime, wherever I want to use it. And when I want to get that sun on my eyes, boom, I drop down that visor. The liner inside this helmet is really nice. Um, down here at the bottom, it looks like a nice material. It's got this vented stuff going on at the bottom. It has the Simpson logo stamped onto the back. One thing I did notice is on the crown of the head or at the top, it almost, when you look inside, it looks like it's missing padding. You can kind of see the styrofoam inside there but you don't feel it when you're riding. So it's just kind of an aesthetic thing. It's got the conventional D-ring snaps, uh, D-ring locking, little snap on the end to close it up. This isn't a size large. One thing I don't like about it so far at the chin, I normally take those out of my helmets. This one doesn't look removable. And I've got a long beard and I just like to take it out so that my beard can fall out. And that kind of is a little bit more comfortable for me. But for this one, it's not removable, so it's gonna stay in there and I'll get used to it, I guess. Um, I'll probably like it in the long run anyway, reduce wind noise and that kind of stuff. And that's right where the mic's gonna sit. I'm digging this helmet. Um, I'm not going to do a review on it. I just wanted to give you guys my first impressions, let you know what I picked up, because I haven't really ridden thousands of miles with it and I want to get a real review of this helmet for you guys. And so that's gonna take some time to get those miles down, wear the helmet, long trips, short trips, 110 out, um, even maybe this winter depending on how long it takes me to do this review. We'll see how it fares in the cold. Um, one thing about this is it does have four vents in the top, and then it has these chin vents here, three on each side. And those vents do not close. 
out here in the desert, that's not a huge deal. But if you live somewhere in the northeast or northern part, Canada, that kind of place, that may be an issue for you. Um, if you live somewhere where it rains a lot, I'm sure rain gets into those vents, um, probably gets you pretty wet. Again, I'm in the desert. I don't have to worry about those things. I just have to worry about the blistering sun. So open vents, totally cool with me. This is going to be my everyday helmet that I'm going to wear. I'm going to put my Cardo Pack on one side and my GoPro on the other for moto vlogging, get that all set up and rigged. Um, so the first step, I gotta get that off my helmet and then let's throw it on this one. We got it done. We got our GoPro mount on the helmet. Obviously the GoPro is not on the helmet right now because I'm filming with the GoPro. Um, we did get our Cardo Pack Talk on the helmet and to mount everything on here, I kind of put them further forward to avoid hitting the closing vent. And then the GoPro kind of symmetrical a little bit on there. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was pretty simple. The, uh, this helmet has the cutouts for the speakers and the mics and all that stuff. So it's got all the grooves on the phone, so it fit really well. This is the first time I've used a helmet that has those kind of cutouts, so that was really convenient. So yeah, uh, Simpson Carbon Fiber Ghost Bandit.